Copper is an extremely valuable industrial metal that is ductile, capable of being drawn into wire, malleable, capable of being hammered and molded, and an excellent conductor of electricity. It is a chemical element classified as a transition metal with the symbol Cu, from the Latin word cuprum, and its atomic number is 29. It is solid at room temperature. Copper is the oldest metal to be used by man. It was first used by Neolithic humans as a substitute for stone in 8000 BC. Around 4000 BC, Egyptians cast coppers in mold. By 3500 BC, copper was alloyed with tin to produce bronze. Copper is found as a pure metal or in many mineral ores that occur in large deposits large enough to mine. These minerals can be classified based on the chemical composition and crystal structure. They include 1. Copper sulfide ores. Copper sulfide ores are the most common type of copper ore. These ores mainly exist in the form of sulfides. They are chalcopyrite, chalcosite, covalite, bornite, etc. 2. Copper oxide ores. They exist in the form of oxide, they include cuprite and tenorite. 3. Copper carbonates ores. Copper carbonate minerals include malachite and azurite. 4. Copper silicate ores. Copper silicate minerals are chrysocolla and dioptase. Depending mainly on the ore type, as well as the geographical, economic, and environmental considerations, copper minerals mined can be extracted and converted into pure copper using two techniques, which are pyrometallurgy and hydrometallurgy. Pyrometallurgy involves thermal treatment such as smelting and electrolytic refining. Predominantly used for copper sulfide minerals as they do not dissolve easily. Hydrometallurgy involves a leaching operation, commonly used for oxidized minerals. Types of copper alloy. Copper alloys are metal alloys that have copper as their principal element. There are as many as 400 different copper and copper alloy compositions largely grouped into the following categories. They are pure copper, high copper alloy, brass, bronze, copper nickel, copper nickel zinc, leaded copper, special alloys. Pure copper. Pure copper is a soft, malleable, and ductile metal with very high thermal and electrical conductivity, containing about 0.7% total impurities. That is metals which have a designated minimum copper content of 99.3% or higher. They are generally easy to braze and weld. High copper alloy contains small amounts of various alloying elements such as beryllium, chromium, zirconium, sulfur, etc. These elements modify one or more of the basic properties of copper such as strength, creep resistance, machinability or weldability. The raw products are alloys with a designated copper content of less than 99.3% but more than 96%, which do not fall into any of the copper alloy groups. The cast high copper alloys have designated copper contents over 94% to which silver can be added for special properties. Brass. Brass is the generic term for a range of copper zinc alloys containing up to 45% zinc, with possibly small additions of lead for machinability and tin for strength. Brass can be alloyed with zinc in different proportions which results in a material of varying mechanical, corrosion, and thermal properties. Increasing the amounts of zinc provides the material with improved ductility. Bronze. Bronzes are alloys of copper with tin, with a little addition of phosphorus, aluminum, silicon, manganese, and nickel. These alloys can achieve high strength combined with good corrosion resistance. They are somewhat stronger than brasses. Copper nickel alloy. Copper nickel alloy also known as cuper nickel are alloys of copper with nickel, with small amounts of iron and sometimes other minor alloying additions such as chromium or tin. The alloys have outstanding corrosion resistance in waters and are used extensively in seawater applications. Copper nickel zinc alloy. Copper nickel zinc also called nickel silver, nickel brass, or German silver, is an alloy containing 55 to 65 percent copper alloyed with nickel and zinc. Nickel silver is named due to its silvery appearance similar to pure silver, although they contain no addition of silver. Leaded copper. Copper lead alloys are copper alloys that have 24 to 51 percent of lead as the major alloying elements. These alloys are strong and resistant to wear, making them ideal for use in high-stress environments. Special alloys. 
Alloys whose chemical composition does not fall into any of the other categories are combined in special alloys. Properties of copper and its alloy. 1. Melting point. The melting point of pure copper is around 1084 degrees Celsius. 2. Conductivity. Copper possesses high electrical and thermal conductivity. The electrical conductivity of copper is second only to silver. Its high conductivity, coupled with intrinsic strength, makes copper alloys the standard material used for electricity transmission applications. 3. Strength. Copper is a relatively soft and malleable metal with excellent formability. The addition of other elements to copper helps to increase its strength. 4. Corrosion resistance. Copper and its alloys are widely used in many environments and applications because of their excellent corrosion resistance. Copper alloys are corroded at a negligible rate in unpolluted air, water, and non-oxidizing acids. Copper alloys also resist many saline solutions, alkaline solutions and organic chemicals. Moist ammonia, sulfides, a solution containing ammonia ions and oxidizing acids like nitric acids will attack copper. 5. Formability. Copper and copper alloys can be hot and cold worked. Its exceptional formability is illustrated by its ability to produce micron-sized wire with minimum softening anneals. Deep drawing, coining, stretching, and bending are common methods used to form components. 6. Joining. Most copper alloys can be easily joined by the common methods, soldering, brazing, welding, bolting, riveting, etc. Soldering is often used for electrical connections. Leaded copper alloys are unsuitable for welding. Copper alloys have multiple designations, including the Unified Numbering System and the European Numbering System, etc. The Unified Numbering System the Unified Numbering System is the accepted alloy designation system in North America for wrought and cast copper and copper alloy products. The alloys were initially designated as a three-digit code, established by the U.S. Copper Development Association. This code was subsequently expanded to five digits following the prefix letter C and made part of the Unified Numbering System for metals and alloys. In the designation system, Wrought products range from C10,000 to C79,999. Cast alloys are numbered from C80,000 through C99,999. For example, copper alloy number 377, forging brass, in the initial three-digit system became C37,700 in the unified numbering system. The European numbering system. The copper alloy designation system used across Europe uses a six-character alphanumeric series. The first character is a C for copper-based alloy. The second letter indicates the particular product form. These can be either of the following letters. They are B, which represents ingots for remelting to produce cast products. C means cast products. F indicates filler materials for brazing and welding. M represents master alloys. R indicates refined unwrought copper, S represents scrap, W means wrought products, while X indicates non-standard or unified materials. Positions 3 to 5 are occupied by a three-digit number between 001 and 999. Finally, the sixth position is occupied by a letter indicating the group of materials. They are A or B, which represents pure copper, C or D, means copper alloys with less than 5% added element. E or F indicates various copper alloys with more than 5% added element. G represents copper aluminium alloys. H represents copper nickel alloys. Cupra nickel. J indicates copper nickel zinc alloys. K is a copper tin alloy. L or M represent copper zinc binary alloys. N or P indicates copper zinc lead alloys. R or S is copper zinc alloys complex examples are one a classic 99.9 percent .9 pure copper sheet is designated as cw004a two a 70 to 30 cupronickel plate is designated cw354h three a copper brass sheet for casting products is designated cc750s etc the international organization for standardization designation the alloys are designated by a variable length code based on the symbols of the elements and the descending order of magnitude of the alloyed elements. That is, 
The designation shows the chemical symbols of the elements present, and their nominal percentage in the form of an integer. In the case of copper alloys, the symbol Cu is written at the beginning, followed by the other elements present. For example, a leaded brass containing 60% copper and 2% lead is designated as CuZn38Pb2. A copper nickel alloy containing 30% nickel, 1% manganese and less than 1% iron is designated CuNi30MN1Fe.